Najwa Allen is a 20-year-old Moroccan woman who is turning tragedy into triumph. When she was a nine-year-old girl, she was viciously attacked and bitten by a dog, doing serious damage to her leg. The doctors made mistakes with her treatment and a few months later, her left leg was amputated near the knee. A healthy and athletic 10-year-old girl was suddenly changed. After my accident, like my days was, were like night. It was really dark in my life. I was like seeing everything bad. Someone sp smiling to me, I was like, oh, he's just smiling because I'm, I'm like that. Should I stay like this all my life or I have to change something? When Najwa was 16 years old, she began playing tennis and quickly excelled to a competitive level. Uh, in 2016, it was the first time that I won something. 2018, I played 13 tournaments, I did five finals and I won two. She is quickly climbing the international rankings and dreams of representing Morocco at the highest level of her sport. Now I'm 36 in the world and I want to be in the top 20 to go to the Paralympic Games. In the midst of her blossoming tennis career and extensive world travels, Najwa somehow finds time to study, recently graduating with her degree in mathematics. She also shares her story on stages and news channels across the country, inspiring everyone around her with her determination and positivity. Maroc Treasure had the privilege of interviewing Najwa in an incredible setting in Casablanca to hear more of her inspiring story. Hello, Morocco. I'm here with Najwa Awan. And yes. yeah, I did it pretty good. And we're in this incredible setting and she's gonna share a little bit about her story and her journey and we're gonna be inspired by listening to it. So. Thank you so much for taking the time. Tell us a little bit about those those early years as you were adjusting to a new way of life. At the beginning it was hard, but like step by step, I learned how to live with one leg, how to jump instead of walking, and how to do everything with just one leg. How do you overcome so many challenges and yet still smile and remain so happy and so positive. What is your secret? So after my accidents, I was thinking, I was always thinking that I'm, I'm not gonna have a normal life like everyone. And I'm not going to do sports anymore. I'm not going to be happy anymore. Mm. So that was my, I was thinking about that every time. So, but I think that this incident, like, took me to the best part of me mm. so now like I think at 13 or at 14 I just decided to stop worrying about the things that I lost like my leg or the person that I lost in my life so that was the thing that who like the thing that helped me in my life so just stop worrying about everything just living the day by the day and smiling. <laughs> That's so that that took maybe three or four years yes. to come to that point? Yep. And do you remember, was there anything special or anything in particular that gave you the strength to change your perspective, to look at it a different way? I went to my room and I was thinking, should I stay like this all my life or I have to change something? So I decided to change everything, maybe to, to try. I, I start trying, just trying to smile, just trying to be happy. Yeah. Or trying to, to say that I love my life or yeah. I love you, Dad. After that, I was like going to school, trying to do sports with them, even jumping. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I was trying to do something, laughing with them. And yeah, I start like changing everything. Wow. Step by step. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. Shriya Shriya. Shriya Shriya. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. So I think that that is such an inspiration to, to everyone because whatever challenge somebody faces, there's a choice. We can either see the, the negative side of it mm -hmm. and 
focus on us being a victim or we can take the the cards that we've been dealt and play the hand as as best we can and you were afraid of now my life will not be ordinary will not be the same but you've your life is not ordinary it's it's extraordinary <laughs> yeah. right you're living this incredible life traveling the world competing for your country and it's amazing and it's a it's an encouragement and an inspiration so where did that motivation come from that desire <laughs> to take women's wheelchair tennis in Morocco to another level first I love sports yeah <laughs> second there is I love Morocco. I love my country. If I can do something for Morocco, if I can be like in the top 10 or the first in the world in and taking the, the, the my country's name up, why yes. not? I, I want to do it. I'm excited to see your career and what comes next for tennis and to make your country and your family proud, but not to put a lot of pressure. Yeah, sure. <laughs> not to put a lot of pressure. But your story is inspiring and I'm, mm -hmm. it's encouraging to, to be around you.